The Pelham Parkway community has received a long-awaited dog run in Bronx Park East. Bronxnet correspondent Ashley Tiffany brings us the story. Dozen of dogs from all breeds, big and small, brought their owners out to the grand opening of Dog Park on Pelham Parkway. Ron Moales, local dog owner, says he's thrilled to bring his dog Zena to the park. He says the benefits of having the playground walking distance from his house makes it easier for Zena to play with her friends. In New York, you can't really uh, let them go. I wish we get more and more dog parks, man. We need them. New York City Parks Commissioner Mitchell Silver says they've wanted this park in their neighborhood for five years. Silver says Bronx Borough President Ruben Diaz Jr. and Council Member Richie Torres provided the funding to bring this vision alive. Now, our furry friends have a safe and fun place to play this summer. Reporting for BronxNet, Ashley Tiffany. Thank you, Ashley. We'll catch up with Council Member Richie Torres, who provided funds for the dog run later on. In other news, Council Member Andy Keene announced an enhancement and renewal project coming to Baychester's Heffern Park. Bronson correspondent Arlene Mokoko has the story. 20 years of a park not being touched, um, you know, it's, it's dated. It's a New York City park named after the Bronx's first borough president, Lewis Haven, that today is about to undergo a massive renovation. Well, there, there, there's schematics already laid out. New York City Council Member Andy King here at the annual Olinville Old Timers Day celebration held at the renovated St. Agnes Haywood Park on Barnes Avenue talked about the new changes coming to Haven, which is over nine acres of parkland located in the Baychester section. The amphitheater is going to be upgraded, the, all the toys, the, the play space is going to be changed, new stuff for, for the plays. The basketball course we just paid and put new baskets on last summer, so we're not going to really transfer that. We're going to transform the housing station because it is the hub of parks in the Bronx and make sure there's enough staff to handle it, put a new field down. It, when they finish, it's going to be a state-of-the-art 2021 playground park in this Bronx. Also celebrating with him, Bronx Commissioner Iris Rodriguez Rosa. She was excited, came to tears, and I'm glad with the Commissioner Silver, who committed another four million, we're going to entire do a whole transformation of Haven Park, park for the residents of the North Bronx and beyond. The people, the positive energy. That's 14-year-old Shamar Moore sharing why he likes Haven. Both he and 13-year-old Joshua Outram are on the same page with Councilmember King when it comes to changes needed. We should um, put more playgrounds for the kids to play in. Yeah. Fix um, the court. Make the park cleaner. I like a basketball center here, make the pool cleaner, stuff like that. Another suggestion was building changing tables for toddlers and infants. The process takes about two years, shared Councilmember King, who oversaw the gutting and rebuilding of this infrastructure here at St. Agnes. We were able to turn this capital project and turn this, turn this playground into a park and make it something with green space and trees and beautiful fiberglass basketball and, and a track and a soccer field, a, way, a workout station. All things that are transforming and growing this community, says Olinville Old Timers Association member Peter Aguilar. It's great to see uh, uh, the community having a place that they'll be able to go and enjoy themselves. And also it's great to see that the park has been maximized. You know, there's, it, you know it's, it's, there's a little bit of something for everyone. And soon that will include everyone at Haven Park. Anything you want to say to the city councilman? Uh, thank you. For BronxNet, this is Arlene Makoko. That's all for Bronx Update.